but I've got a song, just chose it, take me five, I don't know, I'm like, I'm not listening to the first five seconds. So step one on editing, you want to choose a beat that you're going to edit to. So. On our own, would you offer, I don't know this Okay, so that's step one. Step two is you want to choose a clip. Now, me with clips, I'm not the best. Uh, I'm not going to choose my own clip. Uh, where, where am I going? Where am I going? Packs. My editing pack. This ain't mine, but it's by loads of people. Uh, cin cinematics. MW2. Clip. I'm not sure which one. What's this one? Okay, see it. Use a sort of set off. Ah, uh, that's. So I, I, I'd rather have a, I'd rather have a 360p swap, but fair enough. Not a 360, 720p swap. I'm going to press yes. I'm going to go to my settings. What I'm going to do now is I'll just put this on best. I don't really mess with all this too much. I'll put this on disable resample. That's about it. I can just, I don't really care that much. Okay. Next. I'm going to sync this to the shot, just like, just roughly. I say roughly and I do it perfectly. Yeah. So right now you got First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark every point in the duration of the clip. So. For my velocity, actually, no, I'm gonna press back quickly. I'm quickly gonna. Where do I shoot? I shoot here. I'm gonna cut it. It's a bit off here. Uh, it's not off, but it's, it's a, the beat's like weird. So. There we go. Goes here, there's another beat in here somewhere. 
the hill. I think it's around here. No, it's the next one. So after I shoot, I'm gonna cut it off. Split the clip here. Fucking wrong clip. There you go. Move that to the side, I don't need that for now. So he shoots. There. So I'm gonna insert velocity. Now I'm gonna start the clip on 300 velocity. That's 300 for me. For you, it'll be a lot up here, so because you have Vegas Pro 13, not 14. This goes all the way up to 1000 velocity. <laughs> Messed up. I'm gonna start with 300. Gonna make another point. Set this one to 50. Gonna make another point, set it to 200. And then from now on, um, I changed that to a fast fade, right there. Just, uh, I didn't say that because it's forced habit. But, I make a point on every single one of these because I'm just used to it. Well, because you know, actually that's what I'm meant to do. Okay, so set that to 50, make another point, set to 50, make another point, set to 50, make another point in the middle, set to 50, make another point in the middle, set to 50, make another point, set to 50, make another point, set to 300. Now for this one I'm going to make this a slow fade, fast fade, slow fade, so it just makes arcs in your thing. So it's like a little dips. Fast fade, slow fade, fast fade, slow fade, fast fade, slow fade. Anyway, so now it, will, it won't be... <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do there, I'm, I'm gonna make sync the hit marker up to the song. So. That looks fucking horrible, but... Now for this... It's fast. It's, it's way fast. So I'm gonna bring all these down to a... Another point. I'm moving these ones down to normal velocity. Set this one to... 150 maybe. So I put a fast fade here. Set this to normal velocity. Oh, set it to here. It's kind of interesting. That kind of looks really weird. I'm not sh These clips are horrible to edit. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm gonna set this to 30 just to slow it down a bit more. I'm gonna increase this to the point where. Oh no, back. Increase this. I just saw the problem down with these. Actually, I'm gonna set this one to 30 because. I don't go any lower than 30 on any of my points because it looks really horrible. So it's kind of really weird because in this clip he can Yeah, 
that's the first step of syncing. That took, I don't know how long I've been recording. <laughs> If I was actually editing, I would make it better than this. I wouldn't actually sell for this because it looks kind of dead and I would just get a new clip. But because I can't be bothered, that's what I'm left with. Anyway, so step what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a beat up there. I'm going to put this one smaller. Add another keyframe here. Make this beat a bit bigger. Make this one a bit smaller than the last one. Add a keyframe here. Make this beat bigger. So now it kind of looks like. It's just a bit more. I don't know. It's okay, I guess. I should have just chose like a clip, this clip. I really should have chose this. Good job, team. Get like, you don't land and shoot. Good job, team. Land a bit before, but I don't really. I could have chose this one as well. My content just rose. Cover me. I'm really My PC's actually frozen. What is happening? Fuck off. Swing in your head. That's making you this slow. Uh, anyway. I'm just going to finish editing with it. It will work with any other clip, so good enough. Anyway, I'm going to choose a cinematic. Basically. At this point, I don't care what cinematic. I'm not going to download some more cinematic packs. I'm just going to choose a death cinematic. Anyone would do. I'm going to do a soldier cinematic. I have three death cinematics in this game. I have oh, there's death one there, death one there, death and pain. I forgot what clip I'm doing. Oh wait, 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 I need to do one of these terminal ones. This one kind of looks. I'm gonna do this one just because you know why not. I move this bit down. Ah. Uh, so we're just gonna fix. Fucking Christ. Yeah, uh, we're gonna fix up the cinematic. First of all, we're gonna shrink it down to size. Second, we're going to disable resample. I haven't actually disabled resample yet. Even though it doesn't really matter because it ain't doing anything, so I've changed it in the render settings. But just in case. Anyway. So we this one tends to be off. We don't need all these. But anyway, we're, we're only going to do it up to here anyway. So we're just gonna split that. Actually no, we're not gonna split that. I'm gonna start it. Here, split it there. Delete that side. Split it there. Delete that side. Uh, so now we'll get insert velocity. Do exactly the same thing that we've done on the actual clip. Set this to 300. Double tap in the middle. Set to 50. Double tap on the line. Set to 200. Double tap on every line. Set this line to 50. This bit to 50. And double tap on the end. Set it to 300. Fast fade. Slow fade. Fast fade. I forgot to do this one. Slow fade, fast fade, and slow fade. And so now if you play it, it goes. Christ. I'm just 
gonna go on this clip and I'm actually just gonna have a beat forward and restore. It's not the best, but uh, I could choose a different cinematic, but I can't be bothered. Uh, so what we're gonna do for the cinema the we're gonna just one T jumps off, so about here. We're gonna split it, delete that side, add this. You don't even have to do the, the cinematic in between, but I'm just doing it. <laughs> I'm gonna split it here because that seems about right. I'm not gonna make him shoot on the 21th beat. So if we go and line up, so he shoots on the 21st beat. How much? Oh, it's not even off the ground yet. <laughs> to be off the ground. Uh, I'll figure this out anyway. So insert slash remove velocity. I'm going to set this one to 200. I need him to be off the ground by the end of it. I need him to which way, be shooting in the right place. Sorry. I'm going to set, set all these ones to 150. I'll send, set them to 125 for now. So every line I'm going to set to 125 before the shot. That's the shot point, so set this to 50, to 50, to 50, and that's in 50. Fast fade, slow fade, fast fade, slow fade, fast fade, slow fade. Fast fade, slow fade, yes, okay, so, fast fade that, go here, he shoots about here, I actually know where he shoots, he probably shoots like down here, but, set this to 50, fast fade it down, set this to 50, Set this to 300. Set this to slow fade. Split that. Delete that. And now you sell. You got yourself a kill cam. So I'll be like. We're just going to go back to doing this bit, bump it in, less this time, add a waypoint here, add a waypoint here, bring it in a bit more, restore it there, click on this one, go one frame back, click on this one, go one frame back, click on this one, go one frame back. Click on this one, go one frame back, and then yeah, you got your spells. Yeah, so it's not the best, but it's okay. First one's pretty bad. Anyway, so step one, we're gonna get rid of this volume here because this is actually really annoying me. Shouldn't be there. We're gonna insert audio track. 
this is the second part of the edit so what we're going to do is we're going to go to my gun sounds uh, gun sounds custom by the other we care what they are I kind of like just the intervention where the no. and it's custom by there this one anyway so I'm gonna add it in is that it actually I'm not sure no I don't think it's this one it's a different one before I had. There's something wrong with my this. Sure. Oh, it was in this one. It was just this one. This one. No? It wasn't this one. I'm actually pissed because I can't find it. It's not that one. I have to lag on the No, I'm just going to use this one because it's the best one I've got. So I'm just going to cut that down. Cut this side down. Copy that. And add it here. One point this bit. Actually, no, right here, I'm just gonna set this to 30. No, that's not right, that's not... No, I cannot use this gun sound, it's fucking horrible. It's disgraceful. I have to go to my. Maybe it's just one of these ones. No, I'm just gonna put in this one. What does this one sound like? This is good enough. I think this 
one's gonna be good. At this point, I really don't care. <laughs> He shoots, right? Where does he shoot? There. Pow. Paste in. I'm gonna have to left click on I? Right click, sorry. <laughs> Fucking Christ. He also cocks back his gun for like, the whole trick shot. So. Why did I choose this clip to head out? All clips. I don't have to do this with any other clip. I even change mid song. It's longer. Figuring out how to like do this right here. Come on. This one. It's also longer. Ah, that's actually starting to work decent. Okay. So, if you haven't just gotten bored by now, I'm going to go back to actually editing. So I'm just going to insert a video track, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a colour gradient. This is just me lazy editing. So now, look how nice that looks. You have to make that look fucking sexy. Yeah, that looks sexy. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to put on screen. And now actually I'm going to put on Lighten. No, I'm not going to put on Dodge, I've done that with something else. Highlight? No, I don't want to highlight. Screen. Screen it is. Okay. Lower this down. Oh, I don't actually know what I'm going to do here. Yeah. Maybe change colour a bit. This colour. I don't know. What should I change this to? Oh, I might as well just do that for now. I don't really care them enough to actually make it look nice. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split on every single one. Just because I'm lazy. This is my lazy way of making an, an effect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift from 1 to the end. I'm going to bring that down to 43. So, okay, so it looks like a CC right now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to curve it. So now...
starting to come together a bit more. So what I'm going to do, I don't know why, I'm going to try to teach you to glow again. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a glow to this layer because I'm lazy and I can't be able to add it to the actual thing. So the glow effect will be in the video effects and it'll be S underscore glow. What have I done? No, I don't want these glows. You know what? I'm just going to search glow. S underscore glow. Put that onto the file. Uh... I'm going to make the glow effect blue, because I'm, I'm a fucking hypocrite. Alright, okay, I'm going to change the brightness. I'm going to change the threshold. It's about there. Glow width. Threshold. Brightness. Why? Just find something you like, basically, is what I'm doing. Mm, green. Add a bit of tinted green, a bit more. There you go, about there. About there. Uh, so that looks okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press animate on the threshold. I'm going to go here, add a waypoint. I'm going to go to the end, change it to a 1, so there's no glow there. Go 1 before this 1, and change it to a 1, so there's no glow there. So that means... <laughs> dead I'll try that. Okay. So we're just going to go back to the start. Get along just fine. But I kind of can't be bothered. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to teach you how to do a shockwave. <laughs> so I'm going to insert video track, change this to. I'm not going to change it yet. 
I'm gonna uh, go to my editing pack because you know why not? I'm gonna go to my deer because he has the best shock waves. Overlays. Where are they? I'm gonna use the one that I lose most of the time, which is this one, because it looks clean. Gonna do that. Do this. So I'm just gonna step one. I'm gonna what you do is you go all the way. So actually what you do, what you do is you go here and uh, you press custom and then you press height map I think it is and I have a preset you copy this preset and then just let it go after you copied it so you copy it right now watch just into your Sony Vegas and then there we go and then that's just a shockwave it's because it's my shockwave That's what I want. Now I'm gonna make this longer because I want it to stand out. Now I'm gonna fade it off a bit just so it's less. And then what you do now is you duplicate the track and then you change this one from custom to screen. And then now it's like now instead of this blue CC, I'm gonna change it to pink because that's the color of this. So, nope, wrong thing. No, I don't want to change it to pink though. You know what? I'm gonna have to do it this way. Wrong thing. Glow. One glow, S glow. I'll have to do all this again. That's good enough. I can't be bored to fiddle with the settings completely. So. So now you got a shockwave. I don't know. It's a terrible edit. I know. You know what? I'm gonna be a con. Uh, I know another effect, but I can't be able to do it. I right know. Videos. I'm just gonna go to. Editing pack again. I'm gonna. Uh, I want a particle. No, I'm gonna do. No, editing pack four. No, dear overlays. And it's this one. No, I don't, I don't want that. I do not want that. Into the track. more screening so what I'm going to do at the start I'm just going to add I don't know I'll just add particles I'm running out of ideas. No, not those particles, there's bad particles. Particles 1. No, no, not particles 1, particles 3. I'm not going to do it like 
this, I'm going to zoom it out, cut it down, and so now it's like... <laughs> So just gonna oh, I forgot to do this bit as well. Up that and up that. That's good enough. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the last bit which is sharpen this I'm just going to put a sharpen in here but, well this is kind of colour correction stuff and just finishing off stuff so sharpen in there uh, I'm going to put this on full so I can see it better I'm going to click right before many effects now I'm going to put hashtag warm I'm just going to go here and then move it there I don't want it over the glow, I want it under the glow, so... Now, step two, I'm going to put in a shake, so... Effects. A shake. And I'm not going to put in default, I'm going to put in my shake. So just... Actually, you know what? I'm going to animate the shake as well on this no wrong bit. This no wrong bit. No, actually, no, it's number one. I'm going to animate the shake so that on this point, if I add it here, add one at the end. I'm going to amplitude the shake a bit more. So I'm going to go draft chord just to see what it's like. Bit too much. Just going to. Change it to there. And now finally, last but not, actually no, it's not even last. I'm just gonna add one one more thing and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna add in my MBL quickly. But I can't, I don't wanna draft core, I'm gonna put best full and add in magic but it looks yeet edit this right edit it don't crash on me that's what I last used take time the fact that I used this CC before I could just use one of these but I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a scavenge. I'm going to go all the way down and use this one. Nope, this one. Nope, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Nope, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, I'm going to choose just a random one, this one. Nope, this one. Nope, this one, nope, this one, this one. Why are they all so ugly? God. Actually, no, I'm going to use this one. Last but not all, well not last because I need to add in, I'm going to add in RSMB quickly, what, what this is, this is what will make your thing crash, it won't crash actually, it will make it lag, so I'm going to load this, this, this is one I got from the internet, don't load it fully, not why I say that, don't, So 
so you can use it like fully but I'm not going to because it's morally for Actually, no, I'm going to use it for the actually. I'm just going to wing it. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually going to quickly save it as a uh, sway tot. Sway tot. Uh, I'm going to add them one more video file. I'm going to make this the top video file. I'm going to add in finally just my. What do you call it? black bars so just click somewhere over the clip uh, click uh, video event effects and then you want to go cookie car luckily you can just press C no that didn't work why is it not working damn I have to actually find it luckily you can just click Vegas and then find it here cookie car now what this does is put a circle on the screen you can change the circle into a square. You can change the square into a cutaway section. You can change the cutaway section into a PX five times. And you can change this one so it looks smooth. I'm going to just put it here for now. Anyway, the one I'm going to do finally is I'm going to animate the size. This is just something I do in my edits. I started doing this after like I thought it just like needed to happen so I go click on one before the cinematic go five frames to the right or six I just put six press add I click at the end of the cinematic so here 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 go six frames to the right click add and I click at the start of the cinematic start of the cinematic and like I change this to make it deeper, not too deep, just about here. 4.6. And then I go to the end and put this one on 4.6. And then now. And then finally, this is the last step, I promise, is I go back to my videos and I add in the intro to the start. Don't know why I did it there. Good enough. And then I split this out. At the start of here, I'll split this out and then I'll zoom this in. Maybe just put like one of these fades and I'll zoom this out from here because it's kind of messed up this intro. I don't know why. And I'll copy that, I'll paste it at the end. I'll cut it here. Oh no, back, back, back. I moved, I moved the song by the way, that's why I said back. And I'm going to split here, delete that, and fade this out. Like normally I would put text in and all that kind of stuff, saying like Omni Tap Presents and all that. But right now it's already been almost. <laughs> Anyway guys, thanks for watching. This video was recommended by Sway, um, Omni Sway. That's what I've been saying, Sway. I might just, well, just upload it to my own channel. I'm just gonna render it out and I'll put the actual edit at the end. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec.